Hello and welcome back to Stephen. Pl Do you know me? I I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing, building temples out of caverns. The dark world being the universe, and inside are its followers, humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection, creation. Orbs. Welcome back to Steven Plays. I'm obviously playing Amnesia and this guy won't shut up if you saw the last episode. Um, but we're going to try and help him. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Cannot be opened like this. Uh, mementos. Heavy doors blocking the path. Uh, basically, that guy that's dying is named Agrippa. And we're trying to find a note written by a man named Johan Weir, as you can read plainly on the screen, so we can get him saved or something like help him out, basically. And same here. Okay, so we got these doors, which I'll light this one too. What the heck? Let's waste all of my tinder boxes. And uh, what's ahead? I can move ahead. Is this where I was before? Or is this new? No. I don't know. I'll, I wanna... I wanna figure stuff out. How are things coming? Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves. Or break. Then lose by an uninitiated. One of my concerns was this thing. The orb I found spared my life and returned to where I found it. I know because Alexander took it. I can. Oh, hey. I just did something. He was able to unshackle the heart you and I connected with the orbs. He used them and was able to travel far and wide beyond the world itself. Okay, um, I made a machine work because I put that gear in place. And earlier there were two levers that didn't work because they were like, we're broken and the machine is not working. So even though I hate backtracking because I hate this game and want to spend as little time with it as I need to, I'm actually going to go all the way back up and see if those levers work now. I cannot see a freaking thing. No whammies. No whammies. On our way up. Looking good. Back into the main room? Yeah? This is all part of a map. There was no loading between any of these either. Um, were you the way that had the le- Yes. Do these work now? Yes. What did that do? Oh! Those level levers control those doors. And this has no oil. So we opened up those doors. Which... We didn't need, technically, to proceed, from what I can tell. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. What? I just realized that Alexander's talking to me now. I thought that I was having flashbacks when he spoke, but I think he's talking. Oh. Good going. I knew you could do it. Cool. It's dark, but I'm moving. This seems bad. Is there a torch in here? That would be excellent. What does this do? Am I pulling something up? Am I pulling up a monster? That would be excellent. Was that the wrong way of doing that? I mean, I, I have that lit. Okay, let's go. 
The other way, maybe? Hello? I don't know what's down there. Probably not Deathfish, maybe? I wonder if this will kill me. My guess is that it will kill me. Maybe I have to affix something to the end of this rope? I'm really confused as, as to what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's lower this all the way back down. Maybe I can climb that? I don't want to die, but... <laughs> okay. Don't be Timmy and fall in the well. Because there is no lassie. And you will not be saved. Please be in the same room. Um... No, but I'm not far off. I'm right here. Which is kind of far away, but not too far away. Idiot guy will start talking to me again. Let's go this way. Dark. Is there a light in here? There we go. Whoa. Something to read. Agrippa channels Ware. Uh, Ware ta taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from... Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Ware claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae, and Tampter. Okay. So I want to release him without killing him, so I have to make a tonic of these three things. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The Vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Awesome. Love that. Uh, simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling cairnk. I will have to address wire with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Okay, well, we have a well. So, a property of the secretion in the water dwelling carrick. So, a fish. Okay, what does this say? Maybe this will be helpful. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. Well, okay. So, what we need to do is gather these ingredients. And these drawers are of help, maybe? Tender boxes? Uh, anything in here? This thing. In court, the Order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in, si in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time but by anguish. Anyway, um, so we need three ingredients, and one of them comes from that well, from the fish that is presumably in the bottom of that well, which ate me when I jumped down it, which you should not do. 
There we go. Um, dropped a book. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything more in this room that I know of. Monsters? No monsters. Let's head in here. Choir. There was... Something was in the choir, which is good, because that's what I need. We need to cut a man open to get something. The, the, vit, the vitae? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. Who knows? Just to double check my notes. Paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. Poisonous fungi should work as paralyzer. Find the internal. Okay. The choir seems to be fertile grounds for this sort. So, a poisonous fungi from a large specimen. So I need to find a big mushroom. Uh, the vitae can come from any old body. And uh, tamter I get from the fish in the well somehow. So I'm going to proceed. And somewhere in here is some kind of mushroom. Open door. Hmm. Got some weird stuff going on. Note! The 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let him come! Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain! Am I supposed to be doing something right now? I can't run, and I can't jump. If I withdraw your shadow, does he want... Am I supposed to, like, leave the room? Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Um, I'm. That was a flashback because Daniel killed a man. So that was a flashback to that occurrence, and they were trying to get the shadow to stop. What I'm confused about is that I figured that that would be where I got the blood from the man. But I don't think I I did. Um, and this note says, we extract as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I need large amounts to still properly remember collect this during the next torture session. So I haven't gotten that yet. So I'm assuming that that's up ahead somehow because it's not in here. At least that I see. Although there's a bucket. Mr. Bucket, put the balls in the mouth. Oh, hey. That is convenient. Do I have the do I have the dagger? No. The dagger was a flashback thing. I don't actually have that. Oh, I have a hammer and chipper. Oh. Okay, so Oh, there are actually a few of them. But none of them are like dripping blood. That would be convenient. What's in here? More of the same? The men had scared the prisoner. The witcher rule began. Okay. 
So, so do I need to secure a man to the table? Like I have to like take cut those one of those guys down and like put them up there somehow. Oh, tinderbox hiding. Gotcha. I'm not 100% sure. How do I cut you down? I don't know. Okay, I was heading this way. All will maybe be revealed down this long hallway. Choir main hall. I feel like I'm skipping something, but I'll continue because it's all technically the choir. Choir must not mean the same thing that I'm thinking of. Maybe there's another term. Kind of like parlor. Like parlor is like a living room. But when I think of parlor, I think of like like a barber shop or a nail salon. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Fart. Fart. I am being chased by a monster in a room where I can't figure out what anything is. What the heck is going on? Don't run. Oh. They're saying that if you run, you make noise. I was going to say, what do you mean don't run? What do you think I'm going to do? Okay, so I'm going to be stealthy. Be real stealthy. I'm just going to walk around on the outside of the room, figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Probably not supposed to jump in the river. Don't know what that is. Um, I hear an enemy, but like I don't see them because it's way too freaking dark. But like when you crouch in a corner, the enemies become blind, so can't see a thing. It's just kind of red. Am I, am I hidden? Oh, oil, hey. Oh, a tinderbox. Enemy. Where are you? God, I would kill for a map of this area. Like, seriously. Like, this, this particular place is huge. And I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. And I can't see. So I could easily be walking, like, straight up into an enemy and be, like, pulling a Barney. Like, Barney the dinosaur would be like, I want a hug! I don't want no hug. They got like arms made of lead, like pipes. That's like a cold hug. I don't want a cold hug. I want a warm hug. Definitely not from a monster. Like even if it was a warm hug, if it's from a monster, I would probably decline. Okay, enough about the hugs. Where the heck am I? What am I supposed to be doing? I've just been walking around. I'll just stand next to this light source so everyone knows where I am. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to see that light again. Seriously, I'm I'm so lost. Like, this chamber is huge. There's a door. Should I go for it? I guess I'm gonna go for it. Going for the door. I closed the door behind me. Flashback. I must have did it right. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. 
The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. That's, uh, as usual, a little more than messed up. I kind of like it when there's a flashback because there's, like, this little hint of brightness that helps me see, which is what I mostly use it for. Oh, goody, a torture wheel. Um, we're going to deal with that next episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Steam Plays, new episode every single day. And join me next time for another torturesome episode of uh, Steam Plays. Thanks for watching.